All right, Game Changers, welcome back to another video here today. Now, skill-based matchmaking has been a hot and controversial topic for a very long time in the Call of Duty community, and either people are for it or against it, but the majority, I'd say, are strictly against it, and for good reason. You're correct, sir. Reasons against it, such as better connections, finding games faster, and not having to sweat every match, and having a mixed bag of skill levels, are all reasons that taking skill-based matchmaking out, or at least toning it down, is a good thing or a better thing. But no matter how much we complain about skill-based matchmaking in the game, it seems to fall on deaf ears, and it's like we're talking to the wall. I mean, literally everywhere, developers don't even discuss it, even when we complain to them about it, or we ask any questions regarding skill-based matchmaking. Now, maybe all of them have signed an NDA, or it's against company policy to be discussing skill-based matchmaking at all, because honestly, it's very sus that I don't see it literally anywhere, any developer talking about skill-based matchmaking at all, not even one bit. So it goes to show that there is something going on where they've been told not to talk about it. Now, I was watching JB's video and he was talking about how skill-based matchmaking, even if it were to be removed, we really wouldn't see a difference in the level of sweat players because about 90% of the community is so sweaty. And you know what? Thinking about this topic, it kind of made sense and I wanted to give my take on why this is. Because this franchise has been around for a very long time. This has been probably the longest running franchise when it comes to a video game that we have seen in gaming history as far as I know. If there's one that I am not aware of, please let me know in the comment section below. But Call of Duty has been around for a very long time and it's been consistently around. And honestly, the players that keep returning are players who are not new to the franchise, obviously. So seeing how the mechanics of Call of Duty are basically the same, you're going to have the same fans returning to the franchise year after year after year. It's not like a new game that's come out. So I think that's why the people who are veterans to this franchise have been playing it consistently year after year after year. And that's why they have gotten better. It's with anything in life. If you continue to play the same thing or continue to do the same thing, you're eventually going to get better at it. So if at once you were a noob to Call of Duty, no matter where you started, and you started playing the same, essentially same game over and over and over again, you would have gotten used to the mechanics of that game and you would have gotten a sense of how the game is played and you would have consistently gotten better year after year after year. So I think having that familiarity with a franchise and the game has made these players, in a sense, sweaty. So the community now that we have, regardless of the new game coming out or not, we're gonna have these sweaty players. If you have a new game, a brand new game, like let's say for example, a brand new first person shooter, or even another game entirely that's not a first person shooter, everybody is gonna be new to that experience. And there's not gonna be that familiarity because it's a brand new experience for everyone together versus the familiarity that you have with Call of Duty consistently year after year after year, if that makes sense. Now, am I saying that there are not new players that come around each year? No, that's not what I'm saying at all, because I'm sure there are. I'm sure there are players who have never played Call of Duty before, or they haven't played the previous Call of Duty game, they haven't been playing it for very long, that come in to the latest Call of Duty, which means there are some noobs who play the game, but I think it's very few in number, because Call of Duty has been running for a very long time, so I think the fan base is huge now, and there's already a plethora of returning fans to the franchise. That's what I'm saying. But since skill-based matchmaking is here to stay, how do you deal with it? Well, there's a few options that we have. Number one, you can reverse boost and consistently get bad KD so the game will put you into better lobbies or bad lobbies so that way you have more newbie and less sweaty players. That's one way to do it and a lot of players out there, especially I know the pub stompers out there have been doing this for some time now, they will consistently go negative so that way the algorithm will put them into better matches that have noobs in them and less sweaty players. So that's one way to get around it if you want to go that route. Another route that you could go or take is going in with a party. Maybe a full six-man party if you're playing a 6v6 respawn game mode or 
you know, search and destroy or something like that, where you have a party of consistent and good players on your team. So that way you're guaranteed to at least have a better outcome than going in solo because going in solo and depending on randoms, <laughs> man, you could be the best player on your team. But regardless, if you're doing well or not, some of the players on your team will go crazy negative and you might be facing a party on the other team or just consistently good players on the other team regardless if they're in a party or not and that just won't help your case and you might get frustrated there another way to combat skill-based matchmaking is honestly change up your play style if you're used to rushing and it's just not working out for you maybe it's just time to camp and wait for these sweaty players to come to you and set up and play in a cheap way that might troll these players and make them mad or anything like that or something of that nature and maybe all of those things that maybe aren't the proudest of moments in your call of duty career or play style that you choose to play in but again it is regardless one way to do it or combat skill-based matchmaking if players are just way too sweaty i would have preferred that skill-based matchmaking remain in ranked game modes and not in non-ranked but you know what they continue to put it even in non-ranked or quick play which makes no sense whatsoever but learning to deal with skill-based matchmaking is something that is a reality for us now because it just falls on deaf ears no matter how much we complain or how much we even ask for them to tone it down if not remove it completely each of us is dealing with this reality in our own way i'm sure but let me know how you guys are dealing with it in the comment section below if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you guys hit that like button if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified every single time I upload a video. Now with that being said, this is GCP signing off.